Hi guys, uh, welcome back. Happy Monday. A uh, little quick update here. Uh, I am working on the frame, but I've made an upgrade to the kit drive shaft and it is uh, installed right now, but it's not glued together and it probably won't be glued together. It'll just have a little bit of glue in each end, but I wanted to show you guys that this is actually a working functioning drive shaft. Uh, I made all this out of some little bits and bobs of styrene, a couple of pieces of tubing that slide well into each other, and both ends do function. And it was really, really, really easy to make. Probably only took me 10 or 15 minutes to make this. And what I used on, I, what is this called, a yoke, I guess? Uh, these three pieces are 40 by 125 styrene. And what I did was I took the first piece of it and I sat it right underneath the tubing that I wanted. And then I took my knife and just cut right, right here on the edge of it. And then I cut two more pieces that were a little bit longer. And that became my side pieces. And then for the larger end, I used a 16th rod, which is 62 thousandths. This right here. And then once the glue set up, I just drilled a hole all the way through all three pieces. This is the only pressure fit because I got a about a 61 thousandths drill bit that I used on it. And I had to take my razor knife and kind of um, open up the ends just a hair and then I done the same on this end it's got a 16 thousandths hole in it, in it and a piece of just a very short piece of that rod in there now for the other side with it being smaller I used the same uh, what I tell you was 40 by 125 flat stock, but I drilled a 35 thousandths hole in it because I have 35 thousandths rod, just real, real little bitty. And then I done the same thing. I just kind of opened up the outside edge, pressure fit that through and made sure that I was up far enough to the end so that I could still get my movement back and forth. And then to get this in there, it's a little tricky to get it in, but I'll see if I can do it because everything wants to move. Stick it in one side. I'm gonna find the hole in the other. There you go, see, just like that. It wants to fall apart, but I'll try it one more time. Get that in there. Try to hold that in place. It is tricky. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna snowball you. But I did it once. I'm sure I can do it again. At least I hope I can. I better be able to or all my good hard work here has went for nothing. We'll just slide him back in. try this. 
And the reason why I went with the, the two size tubes was just for the simple fact that you could make it shorter and then expand it to the actual length that you need. Let's try it this way. Well, this is turning into a nightmare, isn't it? I can't even see that hole. There, that side's in, then that side goes in. And that gives us a much, much better looking drive shaft. Now, like I said, this will this will get uh, glued into place, and then I'll paint it up. Don't want it to fall out on me now, but that is a real easy way to make uh, scratch build some functioning components for your models and I hope you guys uh, enjoyed and I hope you give it a shot. So work continues, uh, working on the frame here today. I have uh, the airlines ran to it and then I started to work on the fuel line. That's a piece of actual rubber hose that slides over the end of the paper clip here. We've got some uh, detail painting to do. I want to detail paint this filter that I've put on here. And we actually got our engine painted today. I used a Tamiya NATO green on it, XF67, which for me, you know, it's close enough. Detour Detroit diesel green's a little brighter, but... I think this is going to be okay once we get it all in there. Because like I said, the the engine covers and everything is going to be around this. Uh it, it's it's going to be hard to see, but then again, I don't I don't plan to glue the frame down to the body so it, it can be took apart. But that's what we're working on today is this frame and trying to wrap up the engine. Uh so if you like what you're seeing, uh, give me a like, uh, subscribe, thumbs up, whatever you want to do. And uh, we will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.